Hi everyone, John here from techiereview.com. In some of my videos you've probably noticed I've got a reef aquarium in the background. So today we're going to do something a little different and we're going to be taking a look at this. This is the Senai Reef Monitor. Essentially what this does is monitors the water temperature, pH levels and NH3. So let's get it open, take a look inside. set up the Senai Reef will allow you to monitor and track your water temperature, your pH level and your NH3 level. Um, it also includes a light meter so if you've got any sort of corals that need to be a certain light or whatever you can use this to best gauge where to place those corals. Let's have a quick look around the box. So on the front obviously you have uh, sort of two cow fish, what the, what the sensor looks like and then on the back Basically, you get a web interface which allows you to you know, look at old data, look at current data and sort of see how your tank has been performing uh, for NH3 and also pH. You get a picture of what the sensor looks like and a little bit of information of what parameters the sensor will actually uh, monitor for you. Okay, let's get it open. Let's have a quick look. Okay, inside we have a bit more information. You see the sensor itself is there. And that's why you also get one one month free slide. Uh, and basically what you need to do when you first get this is for the first 24 hours you need to soak your slide in some tank water. And then once that's done, you can place it in the, uh, the uh, Senai probe and then get it working in your tank. Alright, let's open the box and let's have a look at the look at what we get inside the box. So there we've got the contents of the box. Not a great deal to it, but then I suppose it doesn't really need to be. So there's the sensor itself. You have here the slide and underneath is also a suction cup. So this slide here you need to soak for 24 hours in some of your tank water, get a clean cup or something like that, submerge this for 24 hours. Once that's done it goes inside this probe and then this probe obviously sits inside your tank water. There is a little suction cup. Anyway you get the idea. So on the front here we've got power. I think that's a warning light to tell you there is something wrong. And then your temperature, NH3, pH indicators. That bottom there, that bottom indicator there will light up obviously when your slide needs changing. On the back there is basically your light meter. And then you can use that to obviously take some light readings of your tank. And like I said earlier, what this will allow you to do is place better corals that have specific lighting requirements. And really that's it. Now what I'm going to do is going to get this slide soaking for the next 24 hours and then in part two of this video we'll get it set up, get it in the tank and we'll get it connected to, to my Mac and uh, sort of show you how to set that section up. So uh, part two will be coming the next day or two. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions please feel free to post them below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Uh, remember to like the video, that always helps me out, that's great. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.